I have made a mistake and it only dawned on me and not that long ago if you want to know what I got in the mail and how I messed up keep watching <laughs> Hi everyone, if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Mallory. If you'd like to become one of my pals, it's super simple. Hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to ring the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. If you are a returning pal, welcome back. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. One, for some moral support. One, to support this channel. Um, I had to get up and get something. So I'm a teensy weensy bit out of breath, but here, so I want to, for all of you who have not been following along, um, there's a dock. So I live on the West, I live in Southwest Florida. There's a doctor in Southeast Florida and she's like a physical therapist, uh, a physio, a physio type of a doctor um and she put herself into remission from POTS and EDS through exercise and she is now taking all of that wisdom and imparting it on to others who have postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, and other forms of dysautonomia. So um fun right? <laughs> I love people who understand and get it. Like, I had an appointment with her, and she's like, I'm sure you're used to being called lazy. I'm like, yes. And she's like, but you're not. You just, Your body can't. You just can't. I'm like, no. So she was so gracious to explain kind of what happened to me, but more importantly, what I need to do to, like, feel normal. <laughs> Not that I've ever felt normal day in my life, but I did have moments where I'm like, I think this is like my normal, like whatever is normal for me. Um, but what I will not put up with a day longer is feeling like a sick person. I've been dealing with POTS for, we're either going on month eight, 17 or 18. Like, that's over a year, y'all. There's 12 months in a year. I'm not about to do math. One of my problems from long COVID is brain fog, all right? So, which is also part of dysautonomia. I got a lot of things batting against me. Um, but I started getting more active and some of the goals that I have is to be more physically active every day for as long as I can. Um, Without overdoing it, of course, there's a, a limit, a line, a threshold, a thing you just don't want to cross and you don't know till you've crossed it until it's too late and you've crossed it. And now you're over that line and now you're like bed bound for like three days or if you've had a really, really horrible, stressful incident now that led to a horrible POTS flare and it takes a week to recover speaking from personal life experience um so in my prior video i was like oh i got compression socks and leggings they're in the mailbox <laughs> otherwise i'd be showing them to you um i'm like i got some new shorts i got some shirts um and i'm collecting like things uh, there's stuff that i already own and then there's exercise equipment i'm slowly collecting things are slowly trickling in through amazon and um i'm trying to be more physically fit do more meditation breath, breath work anything that's like a stress reduction activity um get back on a good like vitamin supplement regimen for myself for my pots and my pcos yes i have polycystic ovarian syndrome on top of that and i need to find someone to like fully help me manage it like there's a little bit of a confliction a conflict i don't even know the term right now um this is a problem when you have one too many doctors and not everybody is like on the same page 
So I have an appointment coming up to like catch up my one doctor with like what the others are doing and to make sure and I've been like going on my patient portal and messaging all my other doctors to say this is the deal this is what's going on this is how the meds are going this is what I'm doing this is what's working this is what isn't blah 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 like help so um this doctor from um over over on the east coast um I got a list of things and it made me do a little bit of shopping. Um, and these are my sneakers. These are my second pair of Brooks. My first pair were the Brooks Ghost 13. And I feel like that's an easy name to remember. Um, and they were gray and they were like my, uh, they like to color my nails. I'm like obsessed with my nails right now. Anyway, they were totally the color of my nails, and they were great, but then at some point, like, in this front part where the fabric was, like, a hole started forming, and that hole was getting bigger and bigger because I used to walk at least five miles, if not more than five miles a day, almost seven days a week. Like, I used to be hustling like that, um, and now I'm, I'm lucky if I can make it to the, from my bed to the couch without feeling like I just climbed Mount Everest without any oxygen. So, these are my shoes, and I don't know which ones these are. Oh, these are wide, a YD. Um, I don't know how well you can see that, but these are eight and a half, and this is a wide, but a D in like parentheses. Um, you're probably not going to be able to tell. I don't know if one foot's worse than the other, um, but there's a little bit of wear and tear because I live in these, um, and uh, I work out in them. I do everything in them, and you can clearly see a little little signs of love um and then these are my i don't know all right hopefully this these are my insoles and on my shopping i'm calling a shopping list on my shopping list from my doctor was a different pair of brooks and i was excited to see that because i've had these um Jeez, maybe like two years, if not more than two years. I got these from an actual shoe store um, that's local to me. And that's how I got introduced to the Brooks now, or Brooks. Brooks, just Brooks, who knows? Um, if you do, comment below. And they have been like my favorite go-to choice of sneaker. So when it was time for a new pair, because the other one, like somehow, I don't know if I... I don't know, I don't want to say I caused the hole in the shoe, but, like, I also, I just don't want to, like, put blame on anybody right now. But these are the bots. I'm just, like, noticing the little designs and details of my insoles. Um, so this, what's neat about that shoe store is they, like, you put your foot in this thing and, like, it scans and, like, your foot... And it does all these, like, measurements and everything, and it figures out what type of an insole you need. And then you try on shoes to see, like, you're properly measured and fitted. Like, it's very, like, old school. It reminds me of my childhood. And you, um, find a shoe that fits. Like, if Prince Charming were to put it on you in your Cinderella. So, um... Oh, uh, this, I don't know if this means anything. It says D-Y-A-G. I don't know. Um, but I went ahead and got, ordered three. I ordered three sneakers. If you know anything about Brooks, they're not cheap. They're not cheap. And so I'm like, I used to, like, always kind of be a nine, occasionally eight and a half, but lately... I've been at eight and a half in my sneakers. I don't know why, other than like, could my feet have magically like shrunken? I don't know. But a lot of my like fun, like not like to me, this is like gym, athletic, tennis type of shoe 
that you would walk in, run in, go to the gym, do your workouts in. Um, but then I do have like other sneakers when I look up and around that are like fun and cute and like like some Vans. Um, I do have some like All Star Adidas um, Sperry's. Like I just have shoes that I like. Um, that are technically like a sneaker, but I wouldn't really like go working out in them, if that makes sense. So, I got three of the, like three Brooks, all the same, um, shoe, because I was specifically told to get the Ariel, or Ariel, 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 <laughs> um, Let's just go with like the Little Mermaid. Um, and because of what I've been going through, I knew there was a very slim chance that I would be able to make it to the shoe store and like do the whole thing. So I'm like, let me just see if they're on Amazon. They were, it was like Ariel, like 0.20 or something. I don't know, it might be on the box. We shall see. But I got three, cause I'm like, well, what if I'm a nine? And then I got an eight and a half but then I also got an eight and a half wide because those other shoes on the rare occasion when I wear them I feel like my feet are like <laughs> like my feet just feel like they're being squeezed and not in a good way so I was like yeah whatever doesn't fit I'm gonna return get a refund it's gonna be great and so everything arrived and all of a sudden it, it, in my head, I'm like, uh-oh. These insoles are made for an eight and a half. So the nine is definitely, like, already, like, out of the question. Um, if you've been around with me for ages, since the beginning of this channel, you might think I'm going to do a whole try-on shoe video, model the sneaker type of thing. I'm not. I, um... But I will show the shoe and compare it to my current sneaker um, if I had the capability to do that for you. I would, but I don't. But the next time, if these work, if these fit, if they feel comfortable, if they work out, if I keep them and I happen to be wearing them, I'll try to like sneak a peek in, in some other video. <laughs> Um, and if they don't work out, I will let the nice lady doctor know and I'll try to figure out what ones these are, or at the very least I can take pictures and send them to her, probably through my patient portal or email, um, and say this is what I've been working with, but, um, there was a specific reason, I don't know if it's going to say it on the box, for why she wanted me to get these. And it was for like stability purposes, mobility, I think. And it was supposed to help alleviate knee and back pain. It said a lot of things that made me go, ooh, ah, I must have these. Um, and now I have three boxes of them. Um, but I am curious too to know what's like just from like looking at it like uh eight and a half versus eight and a half wide like what's the difference we already pardon me as i'm reaching for them we already know so this is the wide that's not the what not wide and wide um given that those on the ground there that I just showed you are wide. That's probably what I am. Um, and I plan on wearing them with my compression, sporty ankle, no show socks. Um, and then there's the nine, which I highly doubt that's gonna be my size, but um, just for comparison, Ooh, these look a bit different in person. Than they do online. I thought they're going to be a slightly more vibrant version of the ones I currently have as far as colors go. So, um, a little sneak peek. Um, yeah, all right.
Y'all can see what these are called right there. I don't believe I saved the box that those came in. Um, and then you will see here oh, that this is wide and it has like a, a little D next to it. Um, but on the inside, it says, we run on science. Now you can too. At Brooks, we want to empower your run. Um, that's why we focus on knees and hips in addition to your feet design to design shoes for the way your body naturally moves. It's a holistic approach, a system rather than just technology. With the right shoes, your whole body works smarter, not harder. Uh, this shift in paradigm uh, departs from 40 years of thinking and we neatly uh, package that research into the shoes in this box. And this is what they look like. So my color choices were this color and that was my main first choice because they weren't too far off from these. Um, I actually like those a bit better. They have like more purple to them. Um, and then there were two grays, like where, hold on, where like this color bit is, um, there was a purple and a green, but the rest was gray. There was a black, there was like two blacks, they had two different names. So they were more like fraternal twins, I think, than like identical twins. But I'm telling you, these two sneakers looked exactly the same. They were black, and then this little bit was blue. Um, I could really not tell the difference. But the black and blue combo, that's more like my personal trainer style than mine. Um, I mean, they were nice, and I'm kind of over the gray, except for when it comes to my nails. Loving it. Um, so let's take a look and see what's what. There's more here. How to get um, out there and run happy. Well, I'm not running anywhere anytime soon. In fact, I never really was a runner. So this is the shoe. This is the bottom of the shoe. I like how like each shoe is unique. Um, and when I went to the shoe store for my first pair and second pair of Brooks, um, they, like, asked me so many questions about, like, my lifestyle to make sure that, like, the shoe I was given, um, was gonna, like, be the best. I think that's, like, a little, like, reflective strip on the back, um, on the back of these. There's this number 20. Um... So this is the regular eight and a half and looking at them, they look a bit tight. So let's pull out a wide and see, um, but also, yeah, so this is Ariel with a 20 on the to tongue of the shoe and there's other markings. So whatever that Daya Daya, however you say that, 11 maybe, it looks like there's a number associated with it. There's two little lines, so it could be an 11. Um, that's what those are called. I'm, I'm just assuming, I'm assuming. Um, so this is a left foot. Let's find me a right foot. Oh, oh yeah, wait, that's also a left foot. I think. What am I doing? Yeah, uh, this is a right, a right foot. This is the wide. This is non-wide. I don't know from the exterior if there's like a huge visible difference from the top, from the bottom. 
I do feel like this looks a bit wider than this one. So I'm going to take a quick look inside the shoe, the tongue of the shoe. Why is it called a tongue? Does anyone know? So this says uh, medium. I don't know when the letter B in parentheses. Then this one. Ooh, sorry. I just smacked y'all. Um, says wide with the letter D in parentheses. And that is just like this shoe. Like they're both navy, but I, I like this color navy better. I think it matches my shirt. But would you call this navy? This is like a blue with like what gray or green undertone to it. And then there's that like... I was calling that like a fuchsia maroon color, not maroon, magenta. I don't know what kind of color you would call that, but I was calling it like a magenta maroon, no fuchsia, help me now. Where I like, and it looked like it online, like a more vibrant version of something in the pink family. Like that's like a berry tone, like a cranberry maybe. I don't know, but I like that this is a more... This feels like it shows up more pink um, on camera, but it's mm, purple. When I have the energy, I'm going to try these on. Or I could do something out of my own curiosity, if y'all don't mind. I feel like I don't even need to bother with the nines. Like, they're just going to be too big. And of course, like a new shoe or sneaker, you need to break them in a little bit because like sticking my hand in here, this feels more comfortable. And that is the the wide sneaker um, where the non-wide sneaker. And there's something about these shoelaces. They're so soft and like buttery smooth. They don't feel like a shoelace. I mean, the other ones are soft too, but these are like extra comfortable. Like trying to, ugh, that's like a tight squeeze. My feet are not gonna be happy in these. Um, but I don't think I showed you. Ooh, fascinating. So on this foot, I don't know how well you can see in there. Um, so let me tell you, it kind of looks like a, like there's like this little like, uh, and it looks like a cloud with an arrow pointing back, like, to, to, to the heel of the shoe. And it says cushion support, where this one just says Brooks, it has the logo in there. Um... So what is this my right foot? Okay, so what I want to do is take my insole. That feels like a funny word to me. Out of my other shoe. This is like proper, a proper. So that means, oh my, what am I doing? <laughs> Should I not be doing this? I'm like, I'm not a professional. And if something's getting returned, we can't have any oopsie daisies. But you take this. <clears throat> oh, I guess it's like where like it's a little cushiony. Is. It. Anyways. Um, I want to see how this is gonna work. Ooh. Quite nice. We could compare it to a size 9 if you want. I wish y'all could like just, if this was a live video chat, y'all could like say, do it. No, don't. We're fine. Goodbye. See ya. We have better things to do. Um, but I'm hoping, this is going to sound crazy. Maybe, maybe not. I'm hoping these shoes will revolutionize my life. I feel like with the proper equipment and whatnot, um, we're gonna rule the world. So, what am I? Sorry. Shove these back in the box. 
Um, just a little. I mean, aren't these cute though? Like this. Definitely. Um, it seems like an overall slimmer sneaker. I think those are like stability pads, and if they're not, I feel like my first pair of Brooks had something to help with like balance and support, but we're now living in a new world where everything's changed and no one asked for it. I was saying to a doctor on Instagram, I found is like um, a real. I don't even know what kind of doctor he is. My mom was like, and what kind of doctor would he be? I said, uh, one in a pair of black scrubs. I don't know. I um, mean, one that doesn't know how to pronounce dysautonomia. He kept calling it dysautonomia, driving me crazy. But I'm, I mean, he, he made a comment about something, and I'm not going to dive deep into that because I don't want to get too political, but... I commented, I'm like, you and your wife are lucky, blah, 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 whatever I said, I can't remember it. Um, but I was like telling, you know, I got POTS, I got the long COVID, I got all the crap. And he was like, you know, sending his condolences or whatever. And I was just like, it's so sad how your life can just turn upside down on a dime. Like literally like everything can change and you didn't even ask for it. Like something foreign just takes over you. I don't know if I showed you exactly what the inside looks like. Um, oh my goodness. I need the right foot. Like these look huge. So I have a pair. No, I donated them. They either got tossed or donated. They're from like high school or like right after high school. A pair of my first pair of All Star Adidas sneakers. Um, and if you think I'm saying it wrong, uh, I'm not. <laughs> so um, all the girls and gym class had these shoes and I wanted to fit in, but also I didn't want to be like everybody else. So I kind of like was late to the game on purpose and they were a nine and everything was beautiful. And then I got my custom pair that are like iridescent, shining, shimmering, splendid, looking at them right now in a nine. And they were like a teensy weensy bit too big. And I'm like, what the hell happened? So I think your feet can shrink and I think that's what happened, but I'm just curious. So these are nine. They do look big, but if I can just, and they're not wide. You could get a wide. I think there was even like an extra wide and those were out of stock, but oh my God. I'm wrestling with this. Ooh, that's a little pretty blue. So if I put my insole, cause I was like, oh, if I'm like all of a sudden fit in a bigger sneaker, like I'll have to go back to the store here regardless to get the proper insole. Cause if these are made custom for like an eight and a half and I'm like a nine, we have a little bit of a problem. Actually these fit. No, not very well. They're a little loose. I can feel it rattling around in there. So, my next step is to try the eight and a half in the wide and in the regular, I don't know, the non-wide, whatever's more appropriate term. And whichever ones fit are the ones that I'm going to be keeping. And then the other two are getting returned. I just got to make sure I get that taken care of ASAP. Because
because these are some pricey sneakers. But as that saying goes, like you get what you pay for, like these last. Like I've had these for a few years and like they're just barely now starting to show a little like wear and tear at the little top of the back of the heel. So old shoes and out my thumb old shoes and new shoes <laughs> um thanks for being here and for watching if you do have any comments questions and or suggestions you can always leave those down below in the comment section want to follow me elsewhere or just say hey check out the description box um, be sure to subscribe, like this video, give it a big old thumbs up, turn on all your post notifications, and as always, till next time, keep it quirky!